If there's one thing you can count on a fighting game to have, it's a bunch of numbers. Players learn the frame data, the HP, number notation, combo damage, they learn characters' weights, which you should never ask. They learn how to manage their meter, character specific resources, and they adapt to how long the match timer should be. And they bear all of this in mind within the span of a few seconds because it all comes up in every single run they play. And the best part is that none of it makes any mathematical sense. It's so inconsistent. This is the exact same visual information, but the number it correlates to is entirely different. Here's the same move doing different damage amount. Here's a gun doing less damage than a yo-yo. Let's break this down. This is a health bar. If this combo goes over 50% of Chip's health bar, then it's suffice to say that if I do the same combo again, it will kill. Wrong! Guilty Gear has a mechanic called Guts, which essentially means the characters take less damage on lower health, and the impact that Guts has varies as it's different for each character. Anji, for example, has poor defense but high Guts, making his effective health above average. And for the record, defense is tracked in the inverse way as to how you'd expect, with Chip's being the highest, meaning he takes the most damage? In reality, this number is a damage multiplier, but do they call it that? No. In combination, guts and defense are the reason it can be hard to guess how much damage you're gonna do, and there isn't much visual indication for that aside from a character's design kind of giving away the archetype. It's reasonable to assume the big guy has loads of health, and the fast ones would have less, and you do get used to it, but in this case, X is equal to confusion. I don't understand the two modifiers. Non-strife players just get confused. I mean, look at this! Oh, wait! No! Oh my god! Oh my God. I'm sorry to say, chat, it didn't kill. I think Guts is weird, but also check out this system. Smash uses percent to represent your health, but no, it does not care about my feelings. This goes above 100%, which I'd be okay with from a mathematical standpoint if 100% meant anything in this instance. It doesn't. It doesn't mean anything. It's just knockback scaling. The percentage symbol is irrelevant. It could just say a number. Honestly, the only instances where it matters to be at 100% as opposed to 99% are when something will insta-kill, like Zelda's Final Smash and Ultimate, or whenever you're playing a DLC character. Otherwise, the percentage symbol need not exist. Why is it better to be at 0%? I've always been told to give it 100%. Why is 100% bad? Well, about that, it's kind of not. There is rage in Smash 4. Everyone is a barbarian. Whenever the characters are a high percent themselves, the knockback skilling is increased, allowing for shenanigans. There's no need to add a comeback mechanic for whoever is getting hit more. That's a skill issue. And yeah, Ultimate made rage irrelevant, but they added Terry, so have they learned their lesson? I don't think so. I think Pythagoras would be confused. I think Newton might not enjoy this game. Einstein probably prefers melee. At least there's simply just damage scaling in melee. Even if this percentage symbol is meaningless, I, I suppose it's acceptable. Melee gets the math stamp of approval. I sure want nah, no harm. But uh, just don't look at the character balance. Boom shakalaka! Hey, yo, if you like Strive, I made a video where I tested out Sin whenever he came out, and if you like Melee, then I made a video where I had like a week-long excursion to see how good I could get, but I had to use Roy. Uh, check out either of those videos, they're both on screen. Also, subscribe if you liked it. Thanks.